Hey guys, today I'm back with another great recipe. I will be making some awesome buns today. I'm not joking, these are some of the best buns I've ever made. They're so soft and so springy, you will regret it if you don't make it. So let's get started. So this recipe does require an additional step. So let's make our sponge dough. So first we will have to activate our yeast. I have body temperature water here. I'm gonna mix it with some sugar, add in our dry activate yeast, stir that around until it's fully dissolved, and then we're gonna let it sit in room temperature for about five to six minutes or until it turns extremely bubbly and doubled in size. Okay, now we are ready to rock and roll. Let's add in our bread flour, the milk, and the activated yeast water into the whole mixture. I'm using a KitchenAid standalone mixer here. I turned on the stir setting and let it mix for about five minutes or so or until it became a dough. You don't have to mix it until the gluten comes out. Just as long as the dough comes together, then we can stop it and let it grow. So as long as the side of the bowl comes off clean when it's mixing, then we know it's ready to go. So right here, I'm just gonna feel the dough. It feels very spongy and it doesn't feel moist at all. So the dough is in the right consistency, not too dry or not too moist. So I'm just gonna cover it with some aluminum foil and let it grow for about one to two hours in a warm space or until it has doubled or tripled in size. So you want it to look something similar to this and mine took about 90 minutes. So now we are gonna make our bread dough. So to the little guy, we are gonna add everything except for the butter. We're gonna add the butter later when the dough comes together. I'll show you guys how it looks like. So I'm just gonna use setting number two on my stand mixer and mix it for about five minutes. And then I'll turn it up to setting number four and mix it for another three to four minutes and or until the bowl has no flour clinging onto it and the dough is springy like this. And now we are ready to add in our butter. And make sure your butter is soft to the touch. I left it in room temperature for about 30 minutes before starting this recipe. Or if you're running late, you can just throw it in the microwave and nuke it for 30 seconds or so. After adding the butter, I just mixed it till the dough passes the window pane test. So I'm gonna show you here. I'm just gonna pull a piece off from the main dough and stretch it apart until it, you can get like a thin film kind of in the middle and it's not really breaking apart. It's okay if there's like one or two holes as long as you feel like the dough is very stretchy. So now we are ready to let it grow the second time. I'm just gonna form it into a ball and cover it with aluminum foil again and let it grow for another 45 to 60 minutes or until it doubled in size. So mine took about 50 minutes and it grew doubled. So I think it's ready to pull out. I'm just going to knead it a couple times to get rid of the extra bubbles and we are ready to shape it. So here I'm showing you guys how to make spring onion rolls here. You can use this dough to make anything you want. It's a great recipe to just make regular dinner rolls or make hot dog buns too. I made hot dog buns a couple days ago and everybody loved it. So let's make some spring onion rolls today. So for each of them, you will need 325 grams of dough ball. And each of them, you have to stuff a little spring onion mixture in the middle. I season it with a little bit of sugar salt and white pepper that's it and then if you do need help feel free to rewind the video and watch how to make it into that shape feel free to let me know if you guys want to see how to make other types of buns or breads because my family loves eating them and i love making them
And if you guys don't want to make slits in the middle to show off some of the green onion, feel free to skip that step. And here I'm just making a simple braid. Just pretend you're braiding somebody's hair. So just continue making these buns until you run out dull. And then after everything is done, you want to make sure you let it sit in a warm place for another 45 minutes to an hour or until it doubled in size. Alright, after they are done proofing, you want to make sure you brush them with a thin layer of egg wash. I just bean half an egg with a little bit of water and make sure to bake them in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they are golden brown. After that, they are ready to be enjoyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was highly requested on my Instagram. So I finally delivered it to you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!